Pennsylvanians could do it. And certainly the military men did little to help. They sent neither tools nor timber and delivered substandard fuses and 4,000 pounds less powder than Colonel Pleasants had requested. Still, the coal miners of the 48th Pennsylvania toiled round the clock. Using only cracker boxes, they hauled 18,000 cubic feet of dirt out of the mine and carefully spread it out of sight in the ravine behind you. After a month of dangerous, exacting work, the mine was finished. Four tons of gunpowder were planted directly under a Confederate battery. At 3.15 in the morning of July 30th, Colonel Pleasance and two other men disappeared into the mine entrance to light the fuse. Moments later, they reappeared and waited for 10, 20, 30 minutes. Nothing happened. The fuse had failed. At 4.30 a.m., two of Pleasant's soldiers re-entered the mine. They re-spliced the fuse, lit it, and dashed out. When they emerged, they told Pleasance, It's all right, Colonel. She's burning. Thousands waited. Then, ten minutes later, they felt the ground shake and heard a dull roar. There she goes, someone yelled. The Pennsylvanians' mine worked exactly as designed. For the Federals, it would be one of the few aspects of their plan to work that day.